Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Yeah, I Said It. And we're talking about things to do before you get married. You know you know, I love relationships, right? And I'm all about, you know, things to do in relationships. But I think one of the things we need to talk about is the things to do before you get into a relationship. And one thing I think you need to do is learn to be single. Learn to be single. That's like a big deal. <laughs> I know that sounds like, uh, what do you mean learn to be single? Oh, I'm single anyway. I don't need to learn. It's a lie. There are many of you who've been dating since primary three. You've been in one relationship since primary three or the other. You've, been, you've had boyfriend or girlfriend since primary three. You've never been on your own. Always one relationship to another. And that's a big deal. You need to learn to just love your own company, love your own personality, love your own taste and choices. All right. So learn to be single. All right. Let me talk to the boys for a second. Right, guys, you in particular, I think you need to leave your daddy's house before you get married. Leave the house. Go rent a place. Yeah, go pay rent on your own. Go register under a hospital in your name. Don't be worried of so so. So you can't be somebody's son for the rest of your life. Yeah, you get what I mean. You'll be his son for the rest of your life. But don't don't be giving your daddy bills at 30 to be paying hospital bills for you. No. Go and register in a hospital. Go pay water bills. Go pay light bills. Find a rhythm of paying your own bills right learn the appreciation of paying your own bills be responsible for yourself before you go get somebody's wife or somebody's brother nope not somebody's wife somebody's daughter as your wife right don't just rush into marriage oh i've gotten a wife now no learn to be single now let's talk about this learning to be single you've got to get out there and just experience life on your own learn to go to the movies by yourself guys and girls Learn to go to the movies by yourself. Learn to go to a restaurant and order what you like. Not the same old, listen, you know this, there's, people, there's something that people do when they go to restaurants and they're like, what are you having? It's like, whatever you're having. Stop having whatever they are having. Start having what you like. Look in the menu for yourself. All that nonsense, you just be sitting there. What are you having? You have rice and chicken? Give me the same thing. No, get what you want. Figure out the menu for yourself. What do you want? What do you want? No, listen, seriously, what do you want? What do you like? All right? Stop having what they're having. Learn to order for yourself. Learn to appreciate the things that you like. It's about discovering yourself. Save some money. Travel somewhere. Not a girl's trip, not a guy's trip. Travel by yourself. Go to a country that you haven't been to before. Whether it's the UK, the US, whether it's France, whether it's Madagascar, whether it's Sierra Leone. I'm saying travel somewhere, all right? Go somewhere that you haven't been before. Don't go with a crowd, go on your own. Book a hotel, if necessary, get a visa, right? Apply, get the hotels and the travel and logistics sorted and do it by yourself and come back. I'll tell you one thing, you learn to appreciate what it is that your parents have done for you all your life about traveling, you know, and all of that stuff, all the sugar daddies in your life, you might appreciate them better. After you spend your own money on this trip, you might appreciate the people who've done that for you, all right? Learn to do it on your own, but more than that, what it will do for you is when you get into a relationship, nobody will be able to do too much shakara for you because you've done it for yourself, right? The reason why many people don't respect baby girls who fly first class and you know travel to great places, the Maldives and all these places where they pepper us on Instagram is because they feel this girl couldn't do it on her own or in her own rights. But you don't have to be that person. Do it by yourself while you're single, right? Count your money, gather the things, save it. Then travel, right? Enjoy yourself right? Learn to have an opinion. And it's important to do these things. I'll tell you why. When you get into a relationship, the best way to arrive in a relationship is to arrive as yourself, all right? Not to arrive, not to suddenly emerge seven years down the line in the relationship as somebody. No, come as somebody. Arrive as somebody. A person who has likes, a person who has dislikes, a person who has the things they will put up with and the things they are completely immovable on, all right? And it can be the most simple thing. I'll, I'll give you a personal example, all right? Um, I have crazy in me, or I have some crazy in me. I'm not going to give you the real crazy, just little examples of my craziness. I can't watch a movie that has been longer than five minutes in. The movie has started and it's, it's gone for, let me be honest, even three minutes, it irritates me, right? If I go into that movie and I watch it for the rest of the movie, I'm going to be upset, all right? I'm going to be mad, like I've missed three minutes. I don't care whether I was just a car driving and the taillights were just showing. I want to know where the taillights were going. Did the guy indicate, did he move, did he turn, did, what, did someone stop him? Like what happened? And I missed that? No, I'm going to be mad. 
Now, before I got married, luckily, I had figured that out about myself. So once I got married, I told my wife, listen, <laughs> if we're going to the movies, I cannot get in there three minutes late. It's over. I would rather leave that movie than start it three minutes late. Okay? That's just me. That's my crazy. In other words, show us your crazy as you're coming into the relationship. We want to know where your crazy lies. All right? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know what, what what makes you crazy before you get in there. Arrive as a person so that we start to respect your opinion. A boss of mine once told me, if you don't have an opinion of your own, I will not respect you. And that's the same for everybody in life. If you don't know what you like, we won't respect you because nobody likes that girl. Don't be that girl. What kind of food do you like? Whatever food you like, my lord. What kind of uh, clothes do you like? Whatever clothes you like, my lord. Where should we go? Wherever you want to go, my lord. Soon he's going to be telling you, hop on one leg. Back like a dog. Make it sound like an orangutan. Why? Because everybody treats that girl like trash. We don't like the girl who has no opinion. We don't like the guy who has no opinion. Soon she's going to be using you to just, you know, stay busy and keep in touch while she's dating other people. It's the truth. All right? So have an opinion. Right? And then, <laughs> you see, the, the problem with emerging somewhere down in the relationship and just saying, hmm, wait, so it's like, I don't like jello. You know, like, or just waking up a sudden, I'm just, random example. But waking up a suddenly having an opinion or something, it's like you become that girl that confuses people. And then all of a sudden you're fighting over something we're used to for the last how many years. Or you become that guy that, ah, but we've been walking over you since now. Why are you suddenly upset that we're stepping on you? What, what's going on here? Hello? You know, and they're like, no, listen. Na, 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 na. And you're like, well, I calm down. You're like, I found the voice you thought you gave to me. And now it's time to find my own. I'm like, calm down. j hot calm down. Yeah? Like, you should have come this way first. Let us know what's doing you. All right? Don't be waking up later and be shouting, listen to us. Like, arrive as a person. Perfect balance to this is that I understand that as you go on in life, you discover more and more about yourself. You discover more and more things you're willing to put up with and things you're not willing to put up with. But what you need to do is begin that journey of self-discovery early, okay? Don't be coming as a blank slate to any relationship. Don't be coming as uh, an empty coloring board to any relationship. Show up full color, technicolor, baby. Show up bright and early, HD, full. Look at me, this is who I am. And then we can decide if we like your crazy or not. All right? Yeah. I said it.